All righty. Welcome back in, folks. Uh, we are here on my little testing grounds, and uh, as you saw by the thumbnail, we, I'm going to show you how to build a better window. Uh, since we can only build rectangles in this game, uh, the building structure only allows us 90 degree turns, we need to put something into our building that gives some kind of interest. Because if I look down this wall, it's all just flat, and that's all we can build, and that's boring. So let's do something that gives us and interest. Now you're getting a three for today. I'm also going to show you how you do the vines and I'm going to show you a detail that I figured out that I'm not sure anybody's touched on yet. So we're going to go over here and we're just going to build with two, one material. Actually, it's very easy. We're going to go in here to this size and we're doing this as if we, this is the second level. I'm just on the ground level doing it. So we are going to take out one, two, and then we're going to go three high because we get a nice bay window something you could walk out on now we're gonna go to the smallest one now this is what's gonna be a little different you have to go wider and deeper no you have to go wi <laughs> wider and deeper I swear sometimes I don't know where my brain is then it looks like you should be going so that's gonna be six wide now this is for a two bay window uh, if you did it with the one bay, it would be a little different, but six wide, three deep. Now, it seems a little weird because the windows themselves are only two wide in any size. If I look here, it only covers two of the tiles, but I'm going to show you why. So if I place this here and place this here, swap this, and I place it there, you can see there's a gap. Now, I'll show you what happens if you don't do the gap, and that'll go into my second little thing. So normally, that's how the window wants to, it doesn't snap at the edges. And, and this, windows are either or, they, there isn't a choice. So since it doesn't snap right on those edges, you can't get it to be a perfect square, if you will. So it's going to leave this space here. It's the only way to make it look appropriate. So we're going to continue these. By going up one. It helps if I learn, if I get them put in. I don't know why I'm so used to always hitting escape to get out of that, like I do with my uh, build hammer. It's it's kind of a problem. All right, so we're going to go back to this. We're on our right thing. So if you notice, it leaves what looks like a square. Well, that's exactly what it does do. So first thing first, we're going to build up here, and we're going to build right above it, but I'm also going to go one higher. So, two high on both sides. And then I'm going to go inside to build the rest because it just makes it a little easier. And we're going to follow across. Now, you could do a higher detail if you wanted to do a higher detail. Uh, this just works for me. I don't need to, have to see the roof from the inside from my perspective. I think this is fine. We're going to come out two. I should have done this before I put the window on, shouldn't I? Well, then. There we go. Good enough, and then I'll get the inside. We'll just go in there and snap the rest in there. And this won't go into things like what you could do with lighting. You could put a bench in there and actually have this as a window seat. There are a lot of things you can do with it. I'm just showing you how you build this to make it your building more interesting and of course build with whatever material you like so many people love the half timber block that's why i built with it now so you can see we've got a nice bay window if i come in here and walk in it's very nice i can see out all the windows it's not clipped into the wall in any side works out very well what we need is a short hanging like a Instead of a chandelier, we need just a ceiling pendant. Just something, just like a ceiling light that sticks to the ceiling. All right. So last thing we need to do when we go back in here, we're going to go to the smallest roof. And we're going to get this the right direction. And we want it to where it actually comes out. So I'm going to turn off snapping. So that would be correct, but it's one too low. It's going to be right there, and I want to overhang one piece. So it is the correct overhang there. It overhangs the side just a little bit. Now we can go back to snapping and put that there. 
So that gives us, and that's the reason I put a second little piece right above my head there. It's because it gives it, if you put that little triangle and that little triangle, you'll have more of those wood pieces sticking out right there at the edge of the window or the edge of the tile. And I don't, I don't love it. So now how do you do these? There are plenty of videos up online showing you. That's why I didn't make a separate video. You just go into this, you go to your smallest tile and you come over here to the green. So it's, you're using dirt. This is completely random. So that didn't work. Nope. There it is. So I wonder if I can get another one on this. Oh, I did. That was another one. So it does leave, and I'll show you here. It does leave a little bit of dirt sticking out, like just kind of poking out right there. There's not much we can do about that. It it is what it is but that little dirt piece is just going to stick there because that's how you get and you can use flour also flour soil but it leaves a weird it's it's not that like little green it's almost like um like a light brown and so it's more noticeable from from my perspective that's what i feel like that it's more noticeable all right so these corners you can clip the windows in like i showed you that they clipped you can clip them into the corner and make some really interesting details. And when you do that on the inside, depending on the block, you don't see anything. Or if you come over to this, by the way, this tile here is one. This it is fancy stone block. This is the first time I have ever used fancy stone block. I had no idea it made this really cool almost wooden like bottom and top with the the material in the middle that's kind of like rammed earth i didn't even know that but anyway so this is the stone so if i take this let's put some stone down here so i take it go up to and then flip it do the the regular thing it wants to do so that's what i did there to start that and then I just came in here and I went to this side and I went to that one. I'm on fancy stone. Now I came over here, turn off snapping just till it clipped it. Now it looks like it's wrong. When you first put it, you're like, that ain't right. And then you put the second one. You're like, oh yeah, that's right. Just come out till it clips. So here's what you're doing to the, you're not actually I don't know, creating the correct joint, I guess is what you'd say. You're making this so it's off. So if I have this, normally this would want to clip like that or like that, but you're actually doing it like this and leaving a 45 angle at the corner. And then when you leave that corner, then you can place a window in here for really nice architectural detail. I think it would look really good on like a buttress for say like a cathedral or something like that. This is the same method if you want to do shutters. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it with these. So if you wanted to do shutters on your house, it's the same method. So normally you got your window, but you can sink it in one like that. Oh, I only had one left, but you can sink it in like that and have a shuttered window sticking off. Uh, same concept. It works really well, in my opinion, with this window, except for that base. So it works really well with one window. It doesn't work great when you have a too high. I'll show you what I mean. Looks a little odd, but it's not bad. So that that shows you. I still I still got to learn not to hit escape when I'm on windows. It's such a weird little habit I have. But there you go. Now you can make with your. Uh, uh, building some very interesting corner pieces and you can create really nice bay windows maybe put a, a bench seat in there or something or or uh, maybe one of the stone benches would look really nice in there and it makes it some very good interesting look to your building so it's not just a straight line all right thanks for watching everyone